okay so we do the same thing for this area the whole of this area okay so does it it gives it some more lightning or brightening over there and it makes it look a little bit natural over there so that is it okay i hope you getting along with the concept now one key thing or one pro tip if you think that this area that for example um, when we pick this color to paint over here if you think it is too harsh for you or it is too i mean like it is too hard for you right what you can do is you can go and pick your blood to over there and then decrease the strength a little bit the hardness also you decrease it a little bit and then you can basically brush off that so that it wouldn't be that too hard for you okay so this is what i'm talking about so if you zoom out like that you can see the difference over there okay so i think we still need to add some couple of um white stuff to this because the the whitish is too no. but then let's work on the face first so over here we have some couple of brightness so i'm going to make use of the same color that i chose from here and then i'm going to increase my, my size my brush size and i'm going to paint over this area because i want to get that whitish stuff over there or i mean like that brightness over there right so i'm going to paint over here at least to make it tally okay with the original picture the reference picture i mean Okay, so let's get back to work. I think I fast forward for a long time. Okay, so let me go and pick my other paint tool, uh, my other color, and then I'm going to paint off this area. So this is a whole lot of thing that you just have to cope with. So I'm going to paint this area that is, um, I think, the line between the or right underneath. Of the nose okay and between that of nose and the mouth so I'm going to paint off that area and then when you zoom in this is what you have it okay so I think at this point we are getting to somewhere cool and though that is it so at this point I would like to add the effects to it Think you've gotten the whole concept of the painting and if this is not looking all that good you can basically get some time and add more details to this because after this i'm going to add more details to this if you want to see the final look on this picture you have to visit my instagram account and then follow me over there it will be um, provided in the description and right over here say innocent okay so let's add the effect that i'm i was talking about so first of all i'll go to the mouth over here and then under the mouth i'm going to do a little painting over there because i have this color over there so i'm going to sample that color and then i'm going to paint right under the mouth okay so that is it let me increase my flow i think this one would contain that one so I just do the painting right over there like that so we are basically adding the effects to this so that is what I'm doing right over here okay so we are adding the effects and the next one will be on top of the mouth okay so this is my mouth and then on top of it 
we have a couple of painting also to do or a couple of staffs now here you have to take a very huge notice because this this will be require some couple of attention and then some couple of pro tips okay so first of all i'm going to select um my this area i'm going to increase the shadow over there so let me get a bit darker over here so i'm going to paint the whole of this area like that so you see this one is also going outside of that of the map but you don't worry after doing everything all that you have to do is you do or you create a clipping mask this time around i'm getting it correct so you create a clipping mask and this is what i'm talking about right click and create clipping mask so that it falls right into the map so you can see the difference over there now with that white stuff over there i would suggest that you use the smudge paintings over here because it makes it look more realistic and it's not that hard so i i sample a color from here that is i sample something white from here and then this is how it goes so you can first of all decrease your brush size and i think the opacity is also too huge so basically going to this one you can go the rough way and then in case you want to change the color you just have to sample that color from here for example this area requires this color and then that part you can come and choose another form of the i mean the smart painting so let me go a little bit downward over here and then we start to paint okay so let me change my color yes that is the color that i was looking for or the brush that i was looking for okay so let's go a bit downward and then we paint this area like that so afterwards you decrease it and then you paint off again and then you can come to this area and make some couple of scratches over there because it's not fixed right so that for the white shadows over here we're going to select this and then we increase the brush size a little bit it's that to paint it off like that so we don't want to make it that huge okay so that is how it it goes by and then over here on top like that you're going to paint like so basically the math requires no special thing it's just some couple of tweaks and a little bit so let me fast forward and catch you soon And so that is it for the math i think basically that is it um you can try to i'll add some more white um layer to it in the final um picture if you want to see that on instagram i'll link my id over there so you can go and check out how the final outlook came so basically that is how to go about with the math now let's get to the eyes over here you remember we did this right so we did the eye cover over here and then she has some eyelashes on with the eyelashes you can go and download some of them and you can use it over here so i create a new layer go to my brush preset and i have a, like tons of eyelashes over there right so you can download one of them and use it or basically you can use the smudge to, I like using this more too, but for the sake of this tutorial, to illustrate how to use this particular eyelashes that you can download online, this is how you go about it. So you just decrease it a little bit, and then you make sure you have your foreground color to black to match what you have over here, 
and then you increase your brush size a little bit or basically you can just test it out so i think this is cool let's let's not make it that hard so over here oh this is not nice so let me increase it again so over there what do you think about this eyelashes would you want one for yourself well if you want one for yourself contact me and then you make another one over here like that but i think this one so i would have to create another layer and make it over here so that i can rotate it press ctrl t to rotate and fix that one straight out of there so that is it for the eyelashes and then you go again to that um, thing you have over here so uh, you're going to select your white layer from this place so the white layer and then you're going to pick your brush to go back to the normal hard brush that we were using with the same smaller i mean smaller uh, opacity and flow so it's about 50 percent and then we're going to sample this color from here or let me probably go and sample it from here so what you do is you're going to paint from here so basically you're going to paint up this way let's go a bit a bit harder so you're going to paint actually i'm painting on the the wrong layer okay so let me go and select my white layer and then on top of that i'm going to do the painting over there right so you paint over there and then you come here too and then you can paint over there all right so you can see there are a couple of um shadows over here so you can paint over there too that is not working so um let's try a different approach okay so you select this one also and then you try to paint for here too so like that so you basically sample different colors from there and then you use it to paint now let's go back to our shadow and then we're going to do a couple of fixes over here we're going to fix this one so i'll sample a color from here and then i'm going to paint right over there and then this area i think that is as a result of the makeup over there so you can give the a little bit shadow so that's it um i think we are almost coming to the end of this video it's left with one more thing to do so this last thing that i'm talking about is going to be on the eyes you remember i told you you're going to add these things on the eyes okay so let's quickly go to the eyes over here that is the ellipse that we created let's merge them together to give it eyes like that okay so on top of it we're going to create a new layer and then we're going to select our brush we're going to change the color to white let's make sure we have this and then when you zoom in you can go and pick this and then you start off to brush something like that now you can experiment with different things so this is very low for us so let's increase this and you try this and it's still very low so let me increase my opacity so i think this is looking better i want white okay so let me increase some more yes i think this is better so what i do is i decrease my my brush size the more and then i start to paint from here go this way and then you come here so when you turn this off this is what you you having 
and then for this side i'm going to just splash it over there so this is what i have and then i'll come to this side and do the same thing over there so let me just go this way and that way so that is what i am having and the last thing will be here so okay so let's zoom out and see what we having i think we, we we did something awesome and this is what we having over there so basically we still need some more this this particular eyelash is not is not going well with me so i think we still need some more eyelashes so i'm going to select my smudge paint over here and then i'm going to select my my brush this brush and i'm going to drag some things down let me increase the size from here sorry over there like that so it's just going to get some real eyelashes over here do you are you feeling this particular eyelashes let me know in the comments section over there so does it and then boom we are almost at the end of this video the last thing that i'm going to tackle on is the um the eyebrow over here okay so i think it's the shape four and then um shape five so let's merge them together and then we right click and rasterize the layer so i'll go and pick my smudge tool again and then you can see that it's not all that um so let me smoothen it so filter blur and then gaussian blur and then i'm going to filter it this way to make sure it looks more drawn just like a normal shape and then i'm going to do some slight tweaks over here so the hardness is too much let me do this do you love the eyeshadows if you love it um let me just come and do one for you so that is it basically i don't want it to go this much so so that is the final thing that i have over here after all these things um you can just increase some or you add some saturation to this to make it, oh this is too bad so you can add some small saturation to this to make it more popping and then you can add a couple of things to it i intentionally did not touch the hair because i'll be doing a full tutorial covering the hair like that so that is it for um how to paint a real african girl so you can do the comparison this is the main picture and this is the original picture and this little spot i cannot overlook that so let me pick my brush and then this little spot i really cannot get over that so black and then i'm going to get you a small spot over here wow i think this this is awesome and finally let's do the yes i'm going to speed up this area it just basically takes the same way as we did with the skin over here but i'm going to speed this area because i don't want to keep very long on this one so catch you when i'm done so that is it thank you so much for watching this video please don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe and then i'll get back to you with another video Thanks so much for watching. Bye.